All hail Hyderabad! Oh, seriously? Yes, dude, I'm bad. That's ridiculous. Okay, welcome to Movie Community College. I'm Tish, the Warrior Queen. That's my sidekick. The war. Jeremy. You better take that back. I'll give you pinches. Okay, it's pinch, my husband, pinch, pinch, pinch. but I'm the better half. Okay, I can live with that. Compromise, we compromise. We have something so exciting to share with you. Right? Isn't this exciting? Yes. We ate Indian food. Well, yes, we did. Eat. We did. We went to our friend's house. Yes. and uh, For my first Telugu lesson. Right. Well, that was that was the secondary portion of it. Um, Let me get my notebook so I can practice. The main portion um, of our visit was having Indian food. For yes. me, this yes. was the first time. First time you had it. Um, so prior to this, you had eaten Indian food one time. With, with Bill. Right, at an Indian restaurant. Yes, called... Indian India oven. Uh, India oven. India oven. And it was um, northern yes, cuisine. Yes, northern Indian food. So our friends are from Wiseg and Hyderabad. Yes. And so they made dishes that, um, I mean, are common to all Indians, but they said that it had more of a South Indian flair. Now, um, I asked before we ate, is this spicy to you? And they said uh, no. They said no, not to us. No. Now, they have two small children. Mm-hmm. And who are adorable. They're so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. Their kids are they're well mannered and they're adorable. Okay. And 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 they're curious. Yes, which is awesome. So um that they, little boy walked by you and said, Hello, Warrior Queen. Yes, he did. He's so cute. <laughs> he Isn't said, he what? adorable? He came up to me and said, I like your name. I said, What's yes. my name? Yeah. Professor. Yes. And I said, Whoa. Wait Apparently, a minute. What are you um, doing, dude? Uh, Dad has been watching YouTube yes, videos yes, with him. Yes. So um, he's the older well, of the two tanu. kids. He's the older of the well, two kids. Tanu. And his little sister loves Akada. spicy food. Okay, loves it. She Ikeda. said, okay, you're going to have to wait on that. So I can get out. You're going to have to wait on that so I can get oh, We can story. do two things, multitasking. So um, she said that sometimes when um, her what mom makes an Indian dish and she's not looking, she adds extra spice to hers. Who said that? Their daughter. Oh. We're not naming names. Oh, We're not that naming little names. girl? She said, she, and she said like four times as what? spicy as anybody else. She's crazy. And her mom has told me that she yes, really yes, loves yes. it spicy, okay? So... Um, so we had. She looks like Nearja. She, she looks like does. a six-year-old Nearja. Yes, she's adorable. so beautiful. Yes, such a beautiful little girl. So we had tandoori chicken. Mm. We had chicken tikka hot, masala. Dude. It was hot. We will get to that. I'm going. I'm. I'm listing the menu. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh-huh. Let me start over. It was good, but it was hot. Tandoori chicken, chicken tikka masala. We had rice with cumin seeds. Good. We had um, aloo gobi. Oh, you don't know what that is, do you? Because you it, know it as potato cauliflower curry, but it's uh, aloo gobi. Yeah. Okay. That was all right. Um, no. oh, Not cauliflower. It man. was delicious. We had the naan. The rice was good. Naan, naan, naan was beautiful. We had... I fell um, in love with the naan. You love bread of all kinds. So this was plain naan, not garlic naan. Um, we had the mango yogurt, which I yes. think is called mango... Delicious! It's, it's, I, I struggle with this second word. It's mango lassi or mango lassi. I chugged um, it, dude. So the second portion of that term, the L-A-S-S-I portion, I'm struggling with the pronunciation. Please help me, India. It was delicious. Um, and then for dessert... Gulab jamun, yes. if I'm pronouncing that right. Like the Gulab gang. Oh my goodness. Um, Which should have been a good movie, but it wasn't. So uh, our friend said, this might be a little too sweet. And I was like, nope, it's not too sweet I at accidentally, all. They I, put, had two, I had two servings. Our Indian delicious. friends, um, you had two of them? I had two of them. I offered you a second one and you said no. I was full. I was so full. Um, okay, so the food was super I accidentally spicy. put yogurt on my uh, I non bread and I thought, you thought it was, was sour butter. cream. I thought it was butter or something. It was white. I, I don't I don't know these things. I'm just I'm You just don't know low. that butter's not white? Well, I, I didn't know. Maybe it was Indian butter. I didn't know. I thought maybe it was Tamil butter or Telugu butter. I didn't know. Okay, she had the dish of butter. That was melted sitting I did, there. Yes. Anyway. And I even any, told any, you any, if you put some of the melted butter on the tandoori chicken, Man, it's not as spicy. That tandoori chicken was hot. It was super spicy. Okay. But here's the thing. I'm a total spice wimp. 
Jeremy is not normally as wimpy as I am. Um, I no, beat him last let's, night. Let's I be ate honest. more Indian Our food. Our friend took some of the the spices off your food. Off of my chicken. Yes. Of let's the not, chicken. Let's not the act like this chicken. was. Yes. But not off of the tikka masala because that was in the no, curry. No, I'm. Or the only thing that was hot to me was the chicken. The alu gobi was also spicy. Oh, I and I forgot not, to mention that, that we had um, the chickpeas. She also made yeah, chickpeas, chickpeas that had onions and peppers and cilantro. And I asked if I should cumin. eat with my hands, and they said no, no, eat with. And I said, do you eat with your hands? And they said yes. But then uh, the husband. He but looked, they didn't last night. No, he looked awkward with a fork. Like I think he like. I was, he looked like he'd be much more natural making the rice balls with his hands. Well, I mean, he grew up in Wyzag, yes, so yes. I'm sure that that Wyzag, would Wyzag, be... this is a great movie coming, The Gangs of Wyzag. Anyhow, so... I'll go rob trains. So our friend said um, the mango yogurt uh, drink... Was delicious. Not only was it delicious, but it mitigated the spice... So well. I was chugging that stuff. It mitigated the spice so well that I was eating the food and I was like, wow, I know this is spicy because I can smell it. Um, Interesting side note. Um, For our Indian friends who are not super familiar with Mexican food, many of the spices that are in Indian dishes are also in Mexican dishes. And you could smell it immediately. You could smell the cumin, um, the coriander. You could smell that, and immediately you're like, oh, this smells like a Mexican yes, dish. Yes, yes. Um, and the tandoori chicken, if I were to just look at the tandoori chicken and nobody told me this is an Indian dish, I never would have even known. Because though it is spicy, it tasted like a lot of the spices that they <sighs> use in Mexican food. Um, our host said, this is mild. This is this is mild. It was so funny. And I was like... Jeremy was sweating. I was he was sweating. literally sweating. Does my face turning red? Is that how... No, it wasn't it was, turning red. But I was red, sweating, dude. But you were like... You were coughing and you were kind of sniffling um, because obviously it opens up spicy. It opens everything Mm. up. And so only once did my nose run from the spice Mm. um, because I was faithful with that mango. Oh, my goodness. I was drinking that like I would eat some of the alu gobi and I would eat some of the tandoori chicken and then I would drink the mango and it totally mitigated the spice. Here's another difference between Indian food and Mexican food. Though some of the spices are the same, some are different. And so for me, when I eat spicy Mexican food, part of the reason I don't like it is because my mouth is on fire. And that's not pleasant to me. It didn't do that. With the Indian food, it doesn't do that. You catch the heat at the back of your throat, but your mouth is not on fire. So you can eat the food and enjoy it. That was totally unexpected I think, um, you know... I think that this is an important step towards our visit to Wyzag because we got to get accustomed to the food. How many times during dinner... There's not going to be a raised pizza there, is my guess. No. How many times during dinner did I say, I am so excited about this because I kept eating and the spice was not knocking me out. I was so excited. And I know when you asked me, like when I went with Bill... I was afraid it was going to be so spicy that I couldn't enjoy it. The Northern India was 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 half the spice of this. Like, okay. um, I remember you asking questions. You know, uh, is it spicy? Does it smell? Um, Like, no. Clarify what I said by "does it smell," hmm. because that sounds offensive the way you just said it, and that's not what I meant. Then you clarify. Yes. What I wanted to understand was: Are these things that, as I'm eating, that I'm not going to be able to eat it because it burns my mouth or it gets in my sinuses so much that I can't have a pleasurable dining experience. That's what I was getting at. No, I told you no. And you told me no, but that was a different type of food. Yes, northern India, it's easy to to down northern Indian food. There was like nothing compared to this. uh, From what you told me, bland compared to this. Mm -hmm. Um, Though you had some of the same dishes. But the northern Indian dishes uh, were spicier than your typical American. Of course, of course, right. Now, um, so what I did, and I know that this is not exactly the proper way to do it, but our host said, it's okay, you can do this. Um, I took the food and I put it in the naan. I understand that you're not supposed to take the naan and use it as a wrap, but that is what I did. And it was delicious. So 
don't skewer me, our Indian friends, because I didn't use the naan exactly the way that you're supposed to. It was still very delicious the way that I did it. Um, I was super pleased that everything was uh, delicious. It, though it was spicy, it didn't destroy my taste buds because it was at the back of my throat and not my mouth. Um, and then our friends sent us home with some of the gulab jamun and some of the rice and um, aloo gobi. And so today I had some of the aloo gobi and I said, I'll be curious to see how spicy this is since I don't have the mango drink. It was super spicy without having the mango drink so that I could drink that at the same time while I was eating. So I would definitely recommend having that mango yogurt anytime you're having Indian food if you have trouble with spices like I do. Yeah, it was a good time. Uh, great people, great food, great yes. uh, fellowship, I think, hanging and, out. And I brought red velvet cake because that's a very American thing, a very American dessert. And our friend um, is having a birthday next week, so we wanted to surprise him with a cake. Yes. And um, their kids love American desserts too. And so they were thrilled with my cake. I was thrilled with the Indian food. It was wonderful. 